So, 100 episode 2 wasn't too bad. It wasn't amazing, it wasn't atrocious. I'm kind of impartial to it. I'm kind of sitting and going, maybe it could do something later on that could just completely just change it. Granted, I'm probably holding my hopes up too high, but you freaking never know. I mean, we, we actually have Hayato kind of joining with Claire and her gang of people will take down freaking savages, so we're not too sure. It could happen, so he could become a fully-fledged slayer and just rain blood down, I don't know, it, just, it seems like it could be interesting, and Emil kind of just going to Lady Dot, you know what, let's fight, I was kind of like, I guess, at this point, what's the point, I'm surprised freaking Karen's gonna start fighting as well, just like go, you know what mate, screw you over there, I'm gonna fight you as well, I'm not too sure, but in this episode, we've got Hayato versus Claire, and if you probably imagined, Hayato has a secret ability that actually comes out and he turns into a full body armament that kind of makes him go a little bit insane, you would probably rewrite because it actually does happen. It's kind of like, I see I'm sitting here wondering, I saw that coming from a mile away, the fact he has a secret ability that he seems he's weak, like he seems like, I don't know what I'm doing here, don't worry, you could probably kill me instantly because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I was kind of sitting there going, yeah, he's got hidden ability, hasn't he? He kind of already does at the end, I was like, yeah, and in the first five minutes, booby touch. I was like, you're not wasting any time here, anime. I was like, go for it, I guess. I mean, full bo full blown booby touch. You, you got it. Claire gets a booby touch. It's kind of like, oh my god, you're the first one to touch my boobs. I was like, this is this is a harem, isn't it? I was like, just remember that point. It's a harem, isn't it? It's kind of like, yep, it has to happen. It has to freaking happen one day, and it did happen in this one. I think the most thing I was kind of pissed off about is the kind of way the whole fight ended, in the sense it just kind of ended with him kind of getting beaten up a bit too much and going back to normal. She kind of releases a full armament and goes full blown boom, and yeah, he gets a bit mucked up in the end. And then what happens is he kind of gets knocked out. And I'm guessing Emil at that point kind of does something with him. He kind of just heals him, and then she's all like. But he's all like, you're still a dude! It's kind of like, you're so dense, man. Like, just realise it's a girl. But still, I was kind of like, when it ended, I was like, oh, really? That's how it's going to end? And she kind of just goes, oh, don't worry, I lost. I lost to myself. I didn't I didn't keep to the rules that I made. Because she said, don't worry, I won't go full armament. So you can be completely fine. But she does go it because he's a bit too powerful. Because we already know. She kind of says, who the hell are you, mate? Why are you so freaking powerful? I didn't see someone do that in my old time here. So what the hell are you doing? He's got like, I don't know, I'm an MC that's pretty dense at what I'm doing, so maybe six episodes in you probably might find out. But yeah, it's kind of just like the fact that the whole thing was just completely just off, like in a sense nothing actually happened, she didn't actually spot any of the people, they kind of just went off normally. It's kind of like, oh okay, so basically you just, what's the point of even freaking fighting? You could have just said, just talked it out and just said, maybe this is my opinion. But no, in a sense basically, yeah, that's how the fight ended. It's kind of like, okay, that's not the greatest of all endings to a fight, but... Do I care? Not really. That's what the problem is. At this point, I'm kind of like messing up two, epi two episodes in I just don't care. I'm like, just do what the hell you want, anime. There's no point in me trying to contradict what's going on because it's just going to happen anyway. I think the whole bit in the central as well with Emil and Hayato was kind of like... It's kind of like, yeah, everyone's getting a bit like kind of ants in the pit and the fact that they're actually a bit too close. It's kind of like, hey, could they be going out? Two guys going out? It's kind of like, it's a girl. It's a girl, don't worry about it. It's kind of like... I don't know, and then basically they go to a very, very scenic area. It's very freaking romantic. It's kind of like, um, this is romantic, isn't it? It's kind of like, and she's all like, yeah. This and then Karen shows up. I was kind of like, oh, his sister shows up. Okay, so they kind of act, the whole section was kind of all right. The whole, I think Karen's cute. It's just cute as a button. So I was kind of like, okay, I accept that part of the episode. The fact that you can't, she's kind of like, don't seduce him. I was kind of like, he's got it right. She's got it right. Just don't seduce him, but it's a it's a girl, so what's the problem? But still, I don't know. Give it maybe some time. This anime might just be good, because now we might get some kind of Slayer versus kind of that monster thing going on. It just it could happen, and it could be freaking damn good. I'm not too sure. It's just I'm kind of holding too many hopes out right freaking now that I don't know. Maybe the savages are pretty freaking cool. I just don't know, but. What it's doing at the moment, it doesn't seem like it's differentiating itself between other generic harems I've watched in my time. Granted, do I hate it less than Arse War? Yes. Arse War's a piece of crap. This one's kind of, sort of, maybe 2 out of 10 enjoyable, but still, it's 
it's still a bit too generic. Give it some time. Maybe MC is just pissing me off because I've seen too many of these MCs in my time. I've got to the point of just going, please, the love of Christ, just throw a brick at him and saying, it's a freaking girl. Just, I don't know. Just, I get to the point that maybe this might be my final, like, kind of harem. Like, if I don't see a harem that doesn't go past the tropes I've seen before, I probably won't review it because... It's just no point. It's just the same thing constantly. There's no <laughs> changes. It's kind of like I need, I need something new. I need something new in harems. I mean, Chippy the Fell Knight gave me something new. That's why I loved it. The rest of them, unless you like boobs and ass, you ain't getting anything basically. So yeah. Well, with all that said, I have been the driver. If you give it a like, do leave a like to quite a bit. If you give it a sub, do leave a like to quite a bit. But with all that having said, I have been the driver. And I'll see you later. Bye for now.